If you're anything like me, you've got a bunch of hobbies that you bounce around between, and that can lead to stuff piling up all over the place. It's a lot more fun playing with all this stuff than sorting it, but eventually you've got to do something about it. Maybe a 19 inch rack. I could get all this outboard gear tucked away nice and neat, and maybe even do something to reduce the number of cables that are all over the place here. But a decent rack isn't exactly cheap. You can easily pay thousands of dollars for something like Elijah used in our 8v8 gaming stations. At the same time, you can't go too cheap either, or you end up with something that can't even hold one of these power amps. This $200 rack from Samson is in the Goldilocks zone. It'll totally get the job done. But come on, it's still just a shelf. Surely I can build something similar and save a bunch of money along the way. And that's what I'm here to do. That's right, Buy or DIY is back. You green. Say no to expensive limited cloud storage and switch to Ugreen's NAS DH2300. It can store up to 60 terabytes of data, so good luck using all that space. Grab yours today at the link in the description. With a limited budget and limited tools, I'm gonna build my own version of this rack and hopefully save some money along the way. But it's gotta live up to Mr. Tech Tip's expectations, so I can't totally half-ass it. Still, 200 bucks isn't a lot to work with. The price of wood is crazy these days, and I've gotta pay myself an hourly wage. But I've got a plan, a starting point that's under $20 and uh, might already be sitting in your living room. Equipment racks like these have been used in the telecommunications industry since at least the 1920s when AT&T established this 19 inch width as their standard. And they've since been adopted in IT, pro audio, music, and many other industries. Just like those old racks, this one from Samsung lets us densely pack a bunch of equipment into a tight space helps us contain all the wiring, and it doesn't look entirely hideous in your living room. This is an 8U rack, meaning it holds eight rack units of equipment. Now, a rack unit is one and three quarter inches, which means our DIY version needs to have at least 14 inches of vertical space to fit all our gear in it. This is Ikea's lack side table. They've been around since the late 70s, and if you've ever had to furnish an apartment or a dorm on the cheap, you've probably bought one of these and had money left over for a hot dog. Somewhere in the 2000s, somebody figured out that these are the exact right size for rack mountable gear, and hence the lack rack was born. I think this is gonna be really simple. We literally just stick our rack gear in here, screw it in, call it a day. Yeah, it doesn't get any simpler than that. Right now we've spent, I believe 17 US for our lack rack. Let's keep track from there. These rack ears are usually pretty adjustable so you can kind of configure exactly how you want to mount things. So this is just a power distribution bar. Probably overkill for a little home rack, but you know, this should fit. We got about 17 inches there. 17 and a half there. Should be no problem. Do we want to flatten that a little bit first? That does seem a little damaged, doesn't it? Yeah. Get a hammer. All right. We're definitely losing structural integrity as we go up, feels like. <laughs> We're mostly using music gear as our example because it tends to be shorter. Okay, so this might be where Ikea bites us in the ass. Wow, yeah. There's not much holding that there. We'll have to see how this goes. You know what, let's try that and just see how this, this feels. This is supposed to be easy. This is not that bad. We got what, one, two, three, four, five units in there, so not quite enough yet. Send it. All right, you're probably good to let go. I lied. Okay. <laughs> we may have detected a flaw in our plan. All right, well, that was about 15 minutes. So we're like 32 bucks in, plus screws. I don't think Linus is gonna approve this. It doesn't even weigh that much. <laughs> he talked about like a brick. <laughs> I just wanna cut one side off of this leg and we'll see what's going on inside here. Oh, wow. I think I found the problem. I just happened to have this 20 year old lack leg. I'm kind of curious to see if it's the exact same construction or not, or if they've gotten cheaper over the years. I'm gonna say that's exactly the same. 
on the plus side, they haven't gotten worse in 20 years. The bottom actually got a little better. Oh yeah. So I guess you could say it's uh, lacking. Oh dear. What if we replace the two front legs with solid wood? I mean, yeah, that seems like the easiest fix. All right, let's try again here. So 17 bucks, resetting. With a little movie magic, we made this out of a glued up two by four earlier. And uh, we just gotta cut it down to our leg height and screw it in just like the lock legs. You can see your uh, pencil mark was perfect. Your cut on the other hand was not. All right, I'll go fix that. You get those out of there. Trying to drill into your leg. Screwing into these legs, it already feels significantly more sturdy. <laughs> I mean, it's still a soft wood, but at least it's actually a wood. Yeah, it's not air. <laughs> okay, that's oh, good. Oh, it actually does something now. It took me about 30 minutes to prep that stock yesterday, so that's 15 bucks for just my time. And we just spent another 10 or so with me and Justin cutting them down to size and installing them. We're still doing pretty good. Well, it didn't immediately fall out this time. All right, let's go big or go home here. What about your home server? Uh, I think home server. All right, let's flip that do, over. Do the flip. Oh, it's a little heavier this time. Whoa, would you look at that? That's not too bad. If you had like a longer server, you could probably the L bracket into this stuff. Yeah, into the back arm there, yeah, for sure. Let's add another 10 minutes for us to install our gear here. So we are at 52 bucks. Also, a lot of it's moving. Move that again, look here. It's actually just moving on. Just the moving mount. the server itself. Yeah, it's not actually moving the mount. The real question, is this gonna hold up long-term? What if we're gonna pull things out and put them back in? Again, I imagine these holes lasting, maybe doing that once or twice before the holes are just screwed. We gotta come up with something better. Yep. Round three. Round three. We've got some rack rails from Amazon here. Oh, interesting. And I'm thinking, can we just mount them onto here somehow? Okay. But we can't screw into this hollow crap. No. And we can't give up any space in here, I don't think, from what we've seen for installing gear in that one. Yeah, it's pretty tight in there. So if we do another solid leg and just make it a little narrower? Yeah, I think that's all we'll have to do. Like, just like we basically need the width off of this. All right, I guess we got to make some new legs then. Way out of you. Even better. We should put the hole in the top for the screws first, and then so we know where the center actually is. Yeah, and then and then trim it down from there. Slim it down. Stop judging me. <laughs> all right, and just for good measure, because uh, we're going to be having it right up nice and close, just so nothing hits it. We're just going to countersink a few of these holes, so that way it's nice and flush. Not gonna run into anything. Keep it nice, you know? Okay, we're good. I should still mark it though. Uh, tiny little mark. This feels like it's taking us a lot longer already. We got brackets. All right. One there, one there. Beautiful. Screws to the side and I think we're laughing. Let's do it. I need a Felipe. He doesn't work here. I got you. Yo, this company be wild. Hmm. They're the wrong size. <laughs> this might be from a different rack. Don't oh know. yeah, these are for these rack nuts. Well, you know, that would make sense. We happen to have screws over here. All right, this huh. is the real test. Thick boy. The thick boy. Oof, it's not light. That's dirty. <laughs> That's perfect. I like that way better. 17 for the lack, but actually this is just an extension of the last version. So why don't we just say 52 plus the 20 bucks for our rails, 72. Okay, so it's our most expensive one, but it's still cheaper than buying something. Still cheaper than buying the rack. I think we give us a little whitewash on the legs and show it to Linus. Okay, sounds good. Happy little accident. Happy little yeah, a little too early to brush that off. Just gonna paint a happy little tree right there. What am I looking at? We got version one, version two, and version three. And I guess they get better as we go, because I saw the sign before I sat down that said, don't touch this one. Don't even breathe here. 
Oh boy, you're risking it. <laughs> Is that bad, huh? Oh yeah. If you want to give it a little shake or just kind of poke around a little. Let's have a look here. The plan appears to have been wood screws and uh, it turns out wood screws into cardboard is not a great time because this has already come out. It's a little loose, you know. Yeah. Wait, what do you mean don't breathe on it? This seems fine. I mean, you give it a good shake or pick it up and drop it like a couple of inches and then that server's going for a little yeah. flight. Okay, but, but that's okay. We had ideas. I remember Jordan and I talking about, hey, what if you just took the cardboard legs and replaced them with wood? This is not bad. Yep, that worked pretty good. Yeah. This power amp on the bottom weighs more than that server chassis there does, and it holds in nicely. Not as much leverage, but still, yeah. it's not going anywhere right now. This is kind of freaking awesome. Yep. And all for the low, low price of one lakh tabletop plus a piece of two by two. Wait a second. Oh, you left <laughs> the original back legs. Well, yeah, why replace those? That takes time. I got to pay myself for my time, man. Our only real concern on this one is if you're going to pull things in and out a bunch, it's going to wear out pretty quickly. Like maybe you right. could turn the legs around to get a little bit more life out of it, but. <laughs> well, it's got four whole sides. Exactly. It's not going to last forever. But neither will you. That's fair. Yeah, she's uh, like, she's good. Yeah, like it's, it's pretty solid, you know? Black rack. Right. Hardly lacking at all, but it gets even better. If you guys insist on running servers in your living room, there's actually a better IKEA product for that. We'll cover that in a floatplane exclusive over on lmg.gg slash floatplane. We'll see you over there. Whoa, this one looks classy. Yep, we got solid wood legs again. Yep. And proper rails. That's wicked smart. I bet these weren't even that expensive. Did we get them off salvage or can you just buy? Those are right off of Amazon. Really? Like 20 bucks for the pair. And then you can put things in and out of it as many times as you want, basically. You, you know what, if I wasn't looking for it, I don't think I'd really notice. You had it in the corner of your living room? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, it's not quite the same you know, wood color or whatever, but. Yeah, and the paint job is pretty half ass, I'll admit, but. Yeah, but the mounting rigidity is full ass. Yep. Which ironically is not the same thing as saying something is ass. I don't make the rules. English, you crazy girl. How'd we do? Well, this guy here, $209 US. Yeah, I mean. You can go cheaper, you can go more expensive, but it's, you know, it wouldn't look out of place in the living room. It's pretty nice and it has creature comforts that we don't have, like wheels and ventilation. Well, we got, we got way, way more ventilation, come on. So the basic guy, we've got $17 for the lac. Okay. And we spent about 15 minutes or so of just in my time installing stuff into it. Okay. So that's 15 bucks at our rate. And then two bucks of screws. So we just saved over 150 bucks. If you want to like rearrange it, you might have to buy a new lac each time. So that'll, you know, balance out pretty short term. Okay, V2. Again, 17 bucks for your lac. Great deal. It's cheaper in Canada right now, by the way. Four bucks for a piece of wood. We paid about four bucks for a two by four that we cut in half and glued together. Okay. And then 20 minutes to install everything basically. So we're about 50 bucks all in on this one. Still, I think this is gonna be the bang for the buck. It's pretty solid. Looks good. It's li literally very it's solid. It's not going anywhere. And takes very little time. Yeah. Then we've got the bougie lac rack, which I assume we paid maybe what, another 20 bucks for? That's about it. So we're still less than half price. It's becoming a bit of a theme on buyer DIY, isn't it? So far. It's almost like doing things yourself is a great idea. Like watch this, I'm gonna do this segue to our sponsor, Micro Center. Earlier this year, Micro Center had their grand opening of their Phoenix location. It's a pretty big moment for them and they're celebrating in an exciting way. Throughout the entire month, they're rolling out fresh weekly sales. So if you're in the market for PC parts, accessories, or even just curious about what's new, it's definitely worth checking out their website regularly to see what's going on. Micro Center has built a strong reputation over the years and it shows. They continue to rack up wards from PC Mag, like best tech retailer, best brick and mortar tech retailer, and best big box store. It should be no surprise that they're thrilled about their new Phoenix location. So if you're in the area, go check it out. And if you want to learn more, check the link in the video description. If you guys enjoyed this, why don't you go check out the last buyer DIY. Jordan and Justin are really becoming the J&J uh, &J of doing things half price. Wow. The dream team with a J. J-R-E-A-M. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> we have to make dream team a thing.